What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Netflix new docu series, Deaf You. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. First up, I would like to say thank you to Netflix for granting me the screener to the entire eight episodes of this new show. Oh man, leave it to Netflix to give us a reality series that feels familiar, but it's also unique all at once. By that I mean, all the characters on this show are dealing with the same dating and relationship dilemmas that most young people today go through as part of that stage in their lives. The difference is, everybody here does sign language. And because of that, this has got to be one of the quietest shows ever. This is not one of those shows where you can do something else while kind of listening to it or catching glimpses of it every once in a while. Some shows you can watch while doing your homework or cooking. You got your tablet or iPad set on right there at the edge of the table, perhaps. So you can have that sort of divided attention, if you will. Well, you can't do that with Deaf You. If you're not looking at either the captions or the subtitles or what the characters are signing, you will miss out on the whole story. Executive produced by Eric Evangelista and Shannon Evangelista with supervising producers Naima Holmes and Lauren Dunlop, Deaf You is a coming-of-age docuseries about a tight-knit group of deaf students at Gayude University, a renowned private college for the deaf and hard of hearing in Washington, D.C. As the group of friends navigate the high lows and hookups of college life together, their stories offer an unprecedented, unfiltered, and often unexpected look inside the deaf community. Featuring Rodney Burford, Cheyenne Clearsbrook, Tessa Lewis, Alexa Paul A. Simmons, Renate Rose, Daquan Taylor, and Dalton Taylor. I wish I could do sign language. I might study it someday. I mean, it would have been extra awesome if I had done this entire video review with sign language instead of speaking out loud. I don't know if it would go viral, but it would certainly stand out. The thing that I love the most about the characters on this show is that all of them do not drown themselves in self-pity. They don't go, why am I deaf? Why wouldn't God let me hear? Woe is me. No, 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 no. None of that bullshit. They are all confident and they don't see their deafness as a crutch or a barrier to social life. In fact, they often tease us, the hearing people, in the same way that folks talking in foreign language would tease us in front of our faces because we don't understand what the hell they're saying. But they do have different perception of each other. You've got the elites. That's basically people who come from a long line of non-hearing families. So they can do sign language like speed lightning, bro. And then some of them can hear only from one ear. So they didn't have to sign until later on in their lives. So the drama is not only in the flings or the flirtations, but also in the status. They might come together as one deaf community, but they are just as diverse as anybody else. There's the stuck-up snobby one, there's the misfit one, there's the insecure one, there's the asshole one, and so that could cause some friction or resentment between them. Prior to this show, I had no idea that there's such a place as Gayude University, the college for the deaf and the hard of hearing. I don't remember having seen other shows or other movies set in this specific location, which means this might also be the first time ever that we, the audiences, get access to Gayu Day. The characters would occasionally tell you their challenges of being deaf when they have to communicate with the hearing folks 
or when they want to tell Siri on their phone to do something, but it rarely gets to the point where they beat themselves up over it. And because it's all done in sign language, the music score on Deaf You becomes more prominent than any other shows out there. I don't know how much of it is scripted. I'm always skeptical when it comes to reality series in general. I mean, you just know that certain aspects need to be manufactured to make the plot interesting. But having said that, I do have my favorites, like the LGBT social activist Renate Rose. She and her girlfriend, are the most adorable couple. Daekwon, longing to have a family of his own, will deeply move you. And Shayana, the social media influencer, has showmanship skills out the wazoo. Listen, no pun intended. I don't think that this series is designed to make us feel bad or sad that they're deaf. This is not some kind of exploitation at all by a long shot. My hope is that Deaf You would make us realize that these guys are just as awesome and they got game and they too have stories to offer. So yeah, I really dig Deaf You.